drooling, drooling, drooling. Hey, Keshi heads, it's time to come dine with me, RJ O'Connell, as I'm dishing up a Takeshi Tourine that's more than enough to make your mouth water. We've ground up some of the best games, mashed them with memorable moments, seeped out the gristle, and shoved the mixture into a best of shape mold. And voila, who said process wasn't as good as fresh? Now eat it. Coming up today, we're picking flowers in the honeycomb maze. Getting blindsided in bridge ball. Being hosed and disposed in knock knock. And having an art attack in wet paint. I'll bring the PVA glue. This is the best of Takeshi's Castle, Thailand. Here he is once more, the man they call Shakrit, because that's his name. And this is his troop of 100 brave barbarians, here to attempt to defeat the surprisingly cowardly Shogun Takeshi and save the rather lovely Princess Bunsen from a confinement in his castle. But to get to them, they must first overcome a series of perilous pitfalls, resulting in priceless pratfalls on the road to the final showdown. But seeing as this is a best up, we're casting all that aside and concentrating on just the glorious gaming. First up today, we've got the Honeycomb Maze! And as a little twist, inside is a giant rose that contests the butts collect for Shakrit so that he can give it to his lovely wife! Should he ever actually manage to save her? If you get out without the rose, it's no good! The contestant and the flower must make it to the goal in order to clear the game. Take your time, sunshine, we've got all afternoon! Oh, now he's gone and trapped himself. Remember, he's got to get the giant rose. Well, he's making his way all the way to the end, but he's forgotten something there. No, I think he realized now that he's got to go through the rose. But now he's got himself in a bit of a predicament, yep. <laughs> oh, come on, lad. There you go. He's on his way to get it. Now he's got to scramble all the way back. Oh, but now they've gotten a hold of him. Oh, God. He's trying to hold on for dear life, but to no avail. He's done. You're finished, lad. Uh, this fellow's now getting a reprimand for his... Uh, Wonderful attire. There's the rose. Of course, did you know that when it shows, my eyes become large and the light that you shine, Bikabi Sheen? Most people didn't know that. Now, this gentleman's off running a half marathon at this rate. Just going around and around in circles. Oh, congratulations, you made it all the way to the start and made no net progress. <laughs> uh, so now they got to go back all the way to the back of the end. So far, it seems to be working. Oh, right until then. And now they'll get himself a drink of water after running at least 50 miles during that attempt. Oh, the taunting always makes it worse. Slowly he opens the door. Nobody is walking on the dinosaur. Well, it won't do any good to sneak your way through here. Oh, I'm getting the chills. Thank our audio producer for that. Sprints all the way over. Ah, he's got the rose. Perfect. Oh, God. <laughs> well, not only did he pick the wrong door, I think he's got a concussion for his efforts, too. Ow. Ow. <laughs> 
I tell you, adding this giant rose adds a new wrinkle to the challenge. Oh, here come the guards. He's got a sprint for it now. There's the rose. Now he's got to make it all the way to the finish. Oh, he's picked the wrong door. Good work, not even letting yourself go through there. Oh, now he's got to scramble and he's dropped it. You gotta go pick that back up. Oh, this is a very difficult predicament now. Because now, I believe the guards have now taken possession of the rose. This is going to be treacherous. Does he even know? And not only is it hard enough to navigate this space, but you've got to grab the rose from one of our guards. Well, that would be a victory in a normal game of Honeycomb Maze, but remember, the rose is still in play here. Smartly, he get recovers. He's got a reverse direction. Oh, that's terrible defense! And he makes it! What a run! That's it for Honeycomb Maze! For the ridiculous replay, a good sense of direction is the one thing you need to clear the Honeycomb Maze, so if you can't even get through a door without hitting the frame, then something's going a bit wrong. Luckily, there's only one direction ahead in Bridge Ball. Okay. Yes, for those of you who prefer more linear experience. As opposed to the open world fracas of Honeycomb Maze. But Bridge Ball still delivers the hits. It's a game about balance, steady footwork, and being able to shrug off cannonball fire to the hip and the shoulder. He's staying on there. Say, um, has anyone seen that giant crate of water balloons anywhere? I was going to use them for an office prank. Oh! <laughs> right in the side of the head! And there's those water balloons I was talking about! Oh, but he slips on the wet bridge! And down he goes! Taking a splash right into the net! Good extension, good catch! Oh, he does a bit of a roundhouse kick! And nobody's home, and he's down. Now that is a very pink shirt. Hopefully it's a good luck charm. Oh, his footwork's looking a bit shaky here. Well, this husky fellow should be better at keeping his balance than this. He's taking it very steadily, very cautiously. Uh, but it's looking a little tricky. Oh, it doesn't even make it halfway. Oh, bit of shame. You know, scientifically they say that bespectacled bridge ball uh, contestants are normally 20 times more likely to make it to the finish than those without glasses. Of course, these balls are not managing to hit our contestants. They're missing one. Oh, well, that time they didn't miss. Oh, let's take a little look at that again. I could watch that 50 times over if I wanted to and not get sick of it. <laughs> and he was nothing without his glasses. And he's eliminated. We got time for one more run here. Oh, she almost lost it right at the beginning there. Doing a good job of staying afoot. Using a very slow approach. Just trying to keep her balance as best she can. And she's starting it off. 
very nicely. Takes one right on the shoulder and still staying on the bridge. Using that ball to deflect shots. Oh, right off the head! Oh, oh no! Oh, now she stays on. Oh, another one off the head. How is she still standing? And there's the water balloons. Now she has to deal with two challenges at once. Still keeping a balance. She's almost there to the finish. Only got a couple meters left to go. And she is there. Way to go. For the ridiculous replay, it's this unlucky loser getting a barrage of balls from all angles. To the thigh, to the shoulder, to the face, to the happy sack. He survived all of that, but it was a water balloon that finally sent him over the edge. At least I hope there was a water balloon and not the said happy sacks exploding. <clears throat> You'll be bursting of joy if you will stick around for part two. We'll put on the rebound for knock knock, flat on a back and wet paint, and falling hard and skipping stones. I'm missing you already. Here we go again, it's part two and we're kicking it off with a bang! Uh, of course, if you don't have a partner that's happy for a good bang, then you can always go sell and knock one out yourself. Knock out a door, that is. In Knock Knock. What do you think I was getting at, you perverts? It's four doors and our contestants must break through each and every one of them to move on to the next challenge. Oh, the fire hoses didn't do a good job, but that door not giving way certainly stopped them dead in his tracks. Now this is a run that's got all the potential in the world. <laughs> At least until he was stopped by that door. What a shame. Careful now, you don't want to eliminate yourself before we even get to the first door. Ah, she's getting hosed down. She's all wet. Oh, but runs face first in that door. Now she's just a wet, soggy, moist disappointment. Good shoulder check for the first door there. It's a big leap of faith and st stumbles. I bet you he was not expecting that mud pit to be there. Takes a while to... Traverse your way through the muck and mud. But now he's back on his feet and only has one more door to get through. Shrugs off our guard and he's through to the next challenge. Great stuff. <laughs> I bet you she was winded just getting that far. With all of her speed and fury, though, she will not be defeated. Even if that door will not be giving an inch. What great fighting spirit our contestants have. Full speed ahead for the first door. Oh, and a big leap of faith right through the second one. She's only got two more doors left. Now oh, she's in trouble. Oh, she cuts back one way. Now cuts back the other. Like a hot knife through butter, she makes it through. Time for the ridiculous replay. And let's have another look at this guy taking a tumble head first into the bog. <laughs> Riceless stuff. Now, mess up 434 put in a special request for some memorable Turtle Hurtle highlights. With you in luck, we've managed to squeeze them in just for you right here. Of course, contestants have to outrun the putrid primates that take chase behind them. It always brings back great memories for me. Ah, what a night that was. And what a run that was. What speed, what determination. Of course, that's not always a guarantee that our other contestants will be as lucky. Right there, this gentleman takes a good crack of the face. Uh, now he's just a sitting duck here. Great Greco-Roman technique by the pirate there. But unfortunately, that's tough luck for our contestant. He is now out of the running. It's all about keeping a balance on these tipsy, topsy, turvy turtle shells. He weebles, he wobbles. 
but now he falls down and now he's in trouble. He's got to get back on his feet. Got a couple more to go. Oh, but the pirate takes a stumble. He kicks on the afterburners and he's to the goal. Great determination to hang in there. As Fern gives our next contestant some stern words of encouragement. Now they've got to pick up the pace as our pirate gives chase. Oh, we got two more to go here. Oh, but one shot from behind. Oh, dear. They're within fingertips of getting through. And now they're out of here. Oh, dear. Of all the ridiculous replay, let's have a look at this speedy sea dog, setting a record-breaking time for crossing the turtles. The pirate didn't stand a chance of getting him, and as a bonus, that ball also sorted out his hemorrhoid problem. Result? It's a new one now, wet paint. Now, contestants shoot an arrow at that wheel to select a character. Now, let's see what he gets. D. D. He's got the D. He now has to grab a giant paintbrush and make his way up a slope to reach a white square, in which he must paint his ladder all within 30 seconds. That seems simple enough. Until you've realized that we've slicked this slope down with plenty of water and soap, possibly baby oil. Now, of course, we're going to refrain from making any sort of mystery fluid jokes that other adaptations might be childish and immature enough to make, but not here. We're a classy organization. Well, so that's not doing much for this contestant who's only got, I believe, yeah, he's only got six seconds to get up there, paint his ladder. Instead, he's going to fall right on his backside and be eliminated. Hey, what do you know? He's not from Canada, but he will be painting a giant A on his challenge. Hi, my, my. Now, of course, we could give our contestants shoes in order to give them better grip, but where would the fun be in that? <laughs> Suddenly, it would be less fun for me. Now, he's going to take a slow approach and just try and get some steady footwork here. But he's got to be careful not to run out of time. He's only got five seconds left to paint the A. Oh, it's not going to be enough. I think he got half of the first stroke done before he was punted down the slope. Oh, and another fall. Just add insult to injury. Seems like everybody's getting the D. Everybody wants the D here on Takeshi's Castle Thailand. Of course, what this gentleman's wanting is a better start to his run than this. Now he's left his paintbrush up there. Do some stretching, yes. Make yourself limber. Make sure you don't pull out a rotator cuff or... Oh! oh of course all that stretching can't prevent a swift fall on the arse. Oh dear. He may have fractured a tailbone. As I said, everybody wants the D. It's getting passed around like crazy. But you know what else is crazy? He's made his way all the way up. Great balance. In fact, it's actually made it a bit too far. Our guards actually have to tell him, hey, the square's down that way. Oh, that's perfect. Frame that in the loop. What a spectacular D. This ridiculous replay has to be this cops it's cracking for. Although I'm not quite sure why he decided to celebrate it, that's our job. We're rounding up this best of with a stupendous selection of skipping stones. Ow, 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 ow. And there's the first test of our brand new body armor. Straight from our R&D department of safety and innovation. And now she's gonna get first crack at testing it out. Of course, perhaps we should have also tried to make some advances with the helmet. Oh, and not only that crack on the face, but also that bump on the head for good measure. Here's a good run. Oh, dear. All it takes is one slip and then bang. You're in the lake with no hope of advancing. Oh, God! 
Oh dear, that's at least crack five ribs, surely. But what a tough mother. She gives a thumbs up to the crowd. That's great to see. Oh, saves it there, saves it again. Oh, but the third time is still a charm and he's in the drink. Skipping stones always a favorite of mine. <laughs> Just seeing so many people fall and slip and stumble really makes my day. He was so close too! Good speed, good balance, but then slipped on the last stone and fell right in. Celebratory pelvic thrust. Good luck, Charm. Didn't work out for him. Now he's pumped up. Oh dear, this is fatal. You never want to stop your momentum. You never want to take a slow approach or else that'll happen. You'll just take a slow, embarrassing stumble into the lake. Oh, that's good to see. General Shakrit giving a hug to our contestant who hopefully isn't stupid enough to take a slow approach here. Oh dear, I spoke too soon. I think she made it past one stone. I think we got time for one more run, so it's got to be a quick one. And he's going full speed ahead. Rumbling, bumbling, stumbling into the end zone. Touchdown. Wrong sport. For the ridiculous replay, it's the guy who hit a sinky stone, but attempted to recover. Good effort, but he ended up looking like a top heavy blind Lima with a drink problem. And I've seen plenty of those to know. But now it's that time already. Roll the furious flashback. We've reached the end yet again, but it's okay, there's still more episodes waiting just around the corner. So until next time, did you know, Lipidenopathy is the name for a slow and gland. Although that's not related to Takeshi's Castle Thailand. Lock on, Keshi heads, and a very warm goodbye. <laughs>